good day and welcome to the sixth Sunday after Pentecost. As we gather this day to worship and to meditate, I'm glad you're here to join with me as we celebrate the good news this day. And I invite you now to share with me our call to worship. Let us share together. Everything is appropriate in its own time. Though God has planted eternity in the hearts of men. Many cannot see the whole scope of God's work from the beginning to end. Whatever God does is final. Nothing can be added or taken from it. Whatever is, has been long ago. And whatever is going to be, has been before. From Ecclesiastes. And as we gather this day, <clears throat> We share a word of welcome with one another, a word of well-being and of faring well this coming week, a word of peace. It is the Hebrew word shalom, the word that Jesus spoke when he rose from the grave, when he greeted Mary of Magdala, shalom. And I invite you now at home, and I and myself with you, to share that shalom, shalom, shalom in Christ. And we light this candle, this Shalom candle, to remind us that God's light shines to the darkness of our situations, to the concerns and issues we may have, and that the light of God, of Christ, shines in the darkness, and the darkness shall never put it out. Amen. I invite you now to share with me this day our prayer preparation. Let us pray together. Holy God, we praise your name for the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. The Lord's name is to be praised. Dear Heavenly Father, hear our prayer, hear our plea. Be merciful and grant us peace. Heal our wounds as only you can, and point us in a right direct, righteous direction. Order our steps, and lead us to your light, the light of salvation. We have rivers to cross, and unknown trails along the way. Keep us forever under your grace and watchful eyes. This is our prayer, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.
Our lesson this day is from Revelation to John, the 21st chapter. John says this in his vision. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, <clears throat> and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people. And God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be more, no more. For the first things have passed away. And the one who is seated on the throne said, <clears throat> See, I am making all things new. And he also, he said, Write this, these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, to the thirsty. I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit these things, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. May God add blessings to the reading of this word this day, and bring blessings to those who hear the spoken word from the written word, and transform it into the living word in their hearts and minds and spirits. Take a break. Okay. One of my favorite passages of scripture is this passage in Revelation which tells of God's presence being with us of God's concern and care for us, and that how our God is still active in the creation and active in our lives. This is a time for renewal, I believe. We've gone through, as I've said many times, a number of messages, a terrible time with the COVID infections, which still affects us, but a time to renew ourselves with faith, with hope, with love with faith that God is working with us, God's presence is with us, with hope that as we come together, we can witness and minister to each other and help those around us and love, care and compassion and concern for each other and the world. To start all things again, so to speak. As John says in his vision, I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away and the sea was no more. What he's saying, in effect, as I understand it, is there are things that have happened and they have passed. And he uses the reference that the sea was no more. It's an ancient understanding that the sea was the source of great concern, ill, and indeed evil. That's where the great sea monsters were. But that, so that the sea is no more means that has that which is evil, which is problematic, is gone. Hopefully for us, the sea of the COVID is passing over us and will be no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven. I saw something that would bring life back again, faith, hope. The New Jerusalem is not necessarily a place but us, the people who gather in faith to worship and celebrate the good news. That where we are is the New Jerusalem. And what we do reflects the presence of our New Jerusalem in the world around us, in our worship, in our outreach, in our mission, in our faith. God is still creating. 
God is still working miracles. Recently, you may have seen that there's a new space telescope, and it can go deeper into the universe than the previous Hubble telescope can. And there's this magnificent photograph of a nebula, the Eta Carina Nebula, which is only 8,500 light years away from us. But it shows this landscape. And in this nebula, which is a, which a cloud of gas, some elements, some dust, and other things, that it is still creating a new creation. It is making stars, new forms in the universe, and new places where life and planets are formed could exist. That out of this nebula, the breath of God is working in creation out of other nebulas in the galaxy. And this nebula, the Eta Carina, I will understand as being a part of the Milky Way. It's there. We are here. And there's a time for us to understand God is with us. And that morning, and crying in pain will pass away. That we do have faith, hope, love, trust in the world around us and God's good news in this creation. That God's grace is with us, Christ's presence is with us, and the Holy Spirit is within us. And again, as one seated on the throne, John says, says, I am making all things new. It is done. That the stars that were formed in that nebula I spoke about were created 8,500 years ago. And the light is just coming to us. But it, that nebula is still there, we believe, and still creating. God's creative power is still happening in spite of uncertainties and fears and anxieties. God said to John and says to us, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And we are the ones between that Alpha and Omega <coughs> who celebrate the both beginning and the fulfillment to the thirsty, and indeed we've been thirsty for the last couple of years, I give you a gift, the water of life, the water of faith, the water of hope, the water of well-being, the shalom of God, to restore us and renew us and give us a vision of going forward. Those who conquered, and I believe as a people of faith, our virtual world and in our congregation, we have overcome. And we will inherit the things that are good news, that are good, that are hope, that a sense of well being is there for us. And there's a promise given to us now in this moment I will be your God our God, and we will be God's children. Each one of us is God's child, created in God's image, male and female, and given strength, hope, beauty, wisdom, to share the good news. May God's presence be with you this day. May God guide you and keep you. And may you experience the beginning and the end of this moment in time with hope, faith, strength, and renewal. God bless you and keep you. Amen. As we gather for prayer this day, and I offer up the prayer, I invite you to offer up your prayers. 
with your concerns, your needs, your good news, and those of friends and neighbors and loved ones, and even those you're estranged from, of God's presence being with them, and to rejoice that we live in the good news, that we are a time of renewal, mission, and outreach. Let us pray. Gracious God, loving Christ, empowering spirit, we who are made in your image come this day, guided by Christ our friend, to lift up good news of hope, faith, love, trust, to the empowerment of your spirit, your Holy Spirit within us. Hear our prayers. Hear our prayers this day for our own needs, the things that we are facing which are ahead of us, the moments we're now going through. To pray for hope, we pray for hope, for healing, for help, for ourselves and for our friends and neighbors, for our community, our state, our country, and our world that where there is hatred, it may be overcome by faith and love. Where there's illness, it can be overcome with healing and restoration. Where there is uncertainty, it can be overcome with knowledge and again faith and hope. As we go forward, we go forward as a people of faith hope and love, with a mission to share of ourselves with the world around us the good news that Jesus Christ brought to us that we could hear and the Holy Spirit can empower us and enable us to do. Be with all those who gather this day in prayer, meditation, and expectation. Gracious God, hear our prayers. In Christ's name, amen. I want to thank you for being with me this day. I look forward to being with you next week. Let us keep each other in prayer and concern and go forth with hope. Cut Barbara. Lord's Prayer. I just count you back in when you're ready. I'm ready. I invite you now to share with me the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray, saying these words of faith. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, Deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you for being with me this day. I look forward to us joining together next week. Have a blessed week, a time of renewal, a time of faith, a time of joy. God bless you and keep you as we go forth. And I invite you now to share with me our benediction as we close our time together this day. Let us share together from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. 
In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ, Jesus concerning you. Go in peace. Amen.